Hey Tyson, you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Come on, let's go for a walk. Let's get your leash. Come on, boy. Come on. Oh, hey, girl. You ain't gonna tell me twice about that. So here I am doing something a little bit different. I got this truck right here. It's got a bad battery in it. We got another one. We're swapping you them out. You can barely tell, but that garage right over there is where my white Dodge truck is being repaired and a module putting getting installed on the trailer for the anti-lock braking system a couple things about this truck right here it's a 97 mazda it's the first vehicle i ever purchased on time that i got i've had it now since 2000 it's got about 180,000 miles on it five speed ac runs good I can't justify getting rid of it because the amount of money that it costs to keep it is worth it to me that I have a spare vehicle at any time. The problem has been is, is that, you know, the house that I told you that um, I was gonna use for an office, I parked it over here so it wasn't crowded at my personal residence. Well, I just kind of stopped driving the thing. Uh, you know, that's my fault. So the old girl's just sitting here and everything like that. So we're gonna put a new battery in there, get her cranked up and everything and that right there is the first long bed truck I got. Um, I tried to get away with getting power windows on it and bought some uh, doors, but that's actually got the 6.0. It's a gas motor. It's a decent running truck. And uh, I went down to Miami, picked it up and brought it back. And uh, you know, it's been a good money maker for Time me. to get this old turd back up and running and everything so I can drive it around and uh, I need to start coming over here once, twice a week and driving these, putting, you know, 30 minutes to an hour of drive time on them. And then the people that are renting the house, they got this brand new dump trailer right here. You know that's right. Always, always write down the date you buy the battery and install it on the battery. That way, you got it written down. I always carry a Sharpie marker with me. Let's see if she's going to crank up. It's been sitting. We haven't driven it. We'll turn that AC off. Boom, there you have it. Been sitting for about two and a half, three months. And uh, she cranked up. We're going to uh, take the other car home come back we'll go out and about and uh we'll get her cleaned up a little bit and uh might need to take it by detail shop but uh not in bad shape you know still got oh 190,000 miles 97 model right here not bad not bad at all now y'all see this car right here yeah i'm six foot four trying to get into this thing that's how high it is off the ground this ain't working real well. One thing about it though, it's not my vehicle and I haven't had to pay a dime to use it. So we're grateful and we're not complaining. I will say this, I'm looking for a 94 to 96 Fleetwood Cadillac. And I want to find one and use that for my driver whenever I'm not in the work truck, like running around on the weekends and stuff like that. That's a big car for a big guy, and they ride so good, and you can get them at a reasonable price, pay cash for it. You don't have a payment on it. And then the other thing is, is that it's still rear wheel drive. It's got a 350 Chevy motor in there. Parts are cheap, plentiful. And like I said, you just can't beat the ride of a Cadillac. So there you go. Got a property for a person that lives out in California that I help out with. We're going to stop by there, see what kind of work's been going on with it. See uh, the progress that's being made. And I tell you, I sure would like to own this piece of property, but it, uh, it's just not in the cards at the moment. Hey, what's up, everybody? Here we are. We're leaving the house. Guess what? We got to put two dump trailers on location and uh we got paid for them so that's two, two dump trailers go around the outside around the outside nah, 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 we're gonna nah. go drop a trailer then we are headed to downtown drop off a watch to be worked on and then we're going to be getting another dump trailer and getting it on location as well so 
The rest of the day is spoken for. Okay, here we are. We're in downtown Pensacola. We had a problem, and that was that the post on my Rolex had broken, and so the watch would not stay fastened on my wrist, and you need to understand, I wear that watch every day. I've had concrete on it. I've been in sheetrock mud, you know, I, just because of what it is, I don't take it off, okay? So, and if you've ever had one, they're always expensive to have any type of service or maintenance done on them. So, of course, I'm expecting the lady to say, oh, that's going to be $800, that's going to be $1,200. And she comes over and says, that will be $195. I look at her and I said, are you kidding? She was like, no. Is that expensive? I said, no, ma'am, that's real cheap considering every time I've been in here, it's $800 or more on that watch. So, we're going to pick up another dump trailer. We'll get it on location. We're going to make it happen. And, uh, because we got to get a little cheap. So, we'll get, uh, one, uh, another dump trailer on location so we can get some money in so we can get our watch back. And, uh, stay tuned. We got a little more. All right. We got a second dump trailer behind us. We're going to drop it on location and then we're going to round us up a bike to eat. Just got a referral from Russell about a friend of his that needs a sheetrock repair done in their closet. So we're taking a look at that. Good things are happening. You know, you get that good mojo going and everything like that. We got to get some information back. Oh, and now we got a school bus to get stopped behind. So. Y'all make sure you go slow around them kids and do not pass that bus when that flag is out on the side. I repeat, do not. I don't have any children, but I don't want to see you crying because some idiot decided to go around the bus and hit your child or hit your grandchild or your niece, your nephew, or whatever. It doesn't need to happen. All right, we got one dump trailer on location. This next dump trailer is not mine. That's a nice one right there. Not sure what brand it is. And then, there's my old Big Tex. That what started it all right there. Yes, sir, ladies and gentlemen. That's the old goody standby right there. It's uh, That's a workhorse for you right there. I think that's about 2014. Ain't no telling how much use they got out of it before I got a hold of it, but it's uh it's been to the shop twice for maintenance and everything like uh freezing all the bearings and fittings and everything like that but that is a good trailer right there so here we are we're getting a break we're getting us a bite to eat before we head home we'll pet them dogs let them out and then we're gonna go to sleep and our first appointment is at 9 a.m tomorrow morning to look at some work that a lady needs done. We're at the Oregon Cafe, and we got these wonderful barbecue nachos right here that look absolutely scrumptious. They taste phenomenal. You gotta treat yourself good every now and then. Mashed potatoes are good, greens are good. Let you know how the alligator sausage is. Got turkey, half rack of ribs. Yep. Got the cornbread. Like I said, fat boy likes to eat now. God have mercy. I'm full like a tick on a bloodhound. I'm here to tell you, I'm about to have a food coma right here in the parking lot. I could kick the seat AC on. I'll be going night night, but we got to get home, let them dogs out. That's for sure. So that food was excellent. If you're in Pensacola, the Aragon Court, it was absolutely phenomenal. And the alligator sausage is to die for. Such a good quality product and everything like that. Really nice, lean, no greasy in it and whatnot. So. All right, we're headed home. Okay, we're like that close to a food coma. It was incredible. Pretty amazing stuff. You're going to have to try it. And if you're not able to, trust me, it was good. Because we're stuffed like a tick on a bloodhound. I assure you of that. And uh, old Tyson was sniffing them leftovers. See, there he is right there. Yep. He was sniffing them leftovers as soon as I got in. Like, hey, man, what's going on there, Dad? So... 
Today has been a good day. It started out like any other rainy, dreary day. Didn't think it was going to be exciting. Wasn't sure if we were going to make any money. Need to pay some bills. In the last three days, very few dump trailers going on and anything. And then, boom! Out of the blue, I get a phone call. Ring-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling. Hey, man, we got the permits in. I need not one, but two. Dump trailers, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So, we went and put those on location this evening, and it, uh, it turned out to be a pretty good day. No complaints. Tomorrow, we're going and doing a couple estimates early in the morning, and then I got a roof to go estimate about two or three. Hopefully, we'll get that. Um, we got a little bit of cheese built up with commissions because I haven't been uh, taking any of that money, and so, you know, I'd really like to wrap all that up and walk out of there with a thirty, forty thousand dollar check and um you know because i can go buy another house with that or i could take that and make two houses and get them up and going and everything like that but um we got the big tile job done carla got it done looks fantastic customers happy my buddy's out of a jam so to speak and so Come Monday, I think what we're going to do is work on the bathroom because I really want to need to get that done. And old Evan has not said anything to me lately, but it's not a, not a lost cause, Evan. We just had to go make some cheese elsewhere because when we're working on my stuff, it's coming out of my pocket. And, uh, you know, we like having positive cash flow, not negative cash flow. So there you have it. Have yourself a wonderful day. Be productive, be profitable, and remember, you know, it was funny. I was walking out of that restaurant tonight. It's raining, and I saw somebody crossing the street, had a bedroll underneath their arm, and they were toting a, uh, some kind of bag, looked like a suitcase or something like that, you know, and I looked over there, and I was like, man, there go I, but for the grace of God, you know, that can be any one of us just like that. And if you're watching this on the Internet, in a dry house, you got a lot of people out there beat. So have a good night and be grateful.